Welcome to Redigan District and this is a small little film really, it's an introduction to the Burfield River. So even on a rainy summer's day we hope we show you something and some of the ideas that you might have for coming along here and fishing this section of Burfield. So here about 250 yards, 300 yards up from the Cunning Man car park, you've got the bridge behind me. Now the bridge goes from the south side of the river over to the north side. But just above the bridge on this side, the south side, there are two or three very good swims. The usual suspects can be caught, such as chub, uh, have been barbel, big barbels be caught from here, and roach. And often the people are using feeders or even float fishing from here. And if you cross the bridge, that's when you get to the north side of the river and it heads up to the lock and up to the actual river, up to the other bridge on the Burfield section. So you can see here behind me, this is where the river and the canal meet. It's just below the lock. And this is a place where some big barbel have been caught, especially in the dusky hours. Uh, in the middle, where the river and the canal meet, there's a big slack area and the water goes round and round, so it's a natural fish collection point. Also some good chub here, and a little bit later in the summer perhaps you'll see some lily pads uh, just beyond which people also float fish. This bit stretches for about two miles. It's a really easy place to get to. Normally you can park at the Cunning Man car park and you can walk up or down the river. There's also another car park near Moatlands, which you can also access and you can get in there with your key. So if you fancy uh, having a pint at some time when the, the pubs are open, you can do that. All the species are here along the Burfield River and it's a very quietish area. Not many people fish it, but there are some big fish, big barbel, pike, perch, roach, all the species are here and very easy to get to. So definitely check this one out. On the canal section here, which is above the lock, it's about 300 meters long, and you can see going up this way, that's where that's where the river goes into the canal. The river goes back around the houses, but in this canal section, particularly during the winter, there are some good perch and there are some good pike. Lots of bait fish down just above the lock, and I expect in the summer months, if you come down here when it's very quiet, you might spot one or two elusive Kennet carp. This is the second bridge here on the Reddington District stretch from the Cunning Man all the way up here to where the Holybrook splits. This is a good section, it's not fished very much at all, it's quite lightly fished so you never know what's going to be in it. Not far over here um, there's also Moatlands and there's also a car park next to Moatlands. And I think we'll head up further river and just show you where the Holybrook is and also where the canal and the river split.
This is a stretch of the natural river right at the top end of the Burfield stretch. It actually goes round a bend and goes up there towards the Arrowhead Field stretch. It's a nice gravel bit just down here. On the left hand side it gets deeper and there's a very, very nice eddy. So you might have to battle a little bit with the vegetation here to create a little bit of swim in the summer because it does grow very quickly. But you can just imagine that there are bream on the slower stretch just above and there'll be chub and there'll be barbel here on the gravels in the summer and probably other times of the year where maybe you might want to try some rolling meat across the swim. This is a bit of a bonus, this is the Holy Brook. Now the Holy Brook comes off the Kennet, quite high up there by Thiel, and it comes back into the Kennet down just above County Lock in Reading. This is Hayrick Meadow and the Holy Brook is quite narrow here. It's very snaggy, there are lots of trees, but when the River Kennet is in flood, the barbel and the chub can well be in here. So if you fancy just roving, maybe with a piece of meat, or maybe just putting in a piece of bread or something like that for the chub, and you like overhanging trees, it's a bit of a Brucey bonus, the Hayrick Meadow and the Holybrook. This is the lock just up from the Cunning Man and uh, in this area here around the square there are some carp that occasionally cruise around here. Personally I'd go lure fishing here so I just either use a jig rod for the perch or a small lure rod for the pike but it's a, a section worth checking out. So this is the stretch directly outside the Cunning Man here. This is the bridge near the Cunning Man. And these are really accessible swims. You can float fish here. You can use a feeder under the trees on the far side. And in the winter, you can perch and pike lure fish if you want to. The only thing you might be competing with sometimes are the boats that moor here. So you won't always get the same swim. But it's a nice long section. There should always be somewhere to fish. this uh, short video of the Burfield River and don't forget that all of the venue maps and all the car parks and how to get here it's all on the Reading website rdaa.co.uk